Okay, I just said a second ago that I wanted to put a nose into my face, right between the, the eyes, obviously, and the mouth there. This gives me a great opportunity to show you a very cool technique inside Photoshop, which essentially allows us to combine selection tools. So in other words, using two selection tools to select an object. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to hold down my spacebar and I'll pan over a little bit into our pile of junk here. I suppose you could use the bolts that you see towards the sort of the top right there. Some of them have some rusted nuts on the end of them. I'm going to go with this guy though myself. He's down towards the bottom. I'm just going to zoom in on this. Now what's cool about this guy is he has a combination of straight edges and also curved edges. So the sort of the threading I guess you could say on the bolt or the the ribbing there is is curved and then we have some straight edges as well. So what I want to show you how to do is I want to show you how to work with both the polygonal lasso tool and the freehand lasso tool both at the same time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off on the polygonal lasso tool. So make sure you have him activated inside the toolbox. You might want to zoom in a little bit or position up your screen so that you are comfortable. Maybe I'll zoom in just a little bit more, something like this. And myself, I'm going to start in the bottom right corner of the object. And what I'll do is I'll single click here to get started. And of course, we get that string there attached to our cursor. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just kind of single click my way up the right hand side and then let me just click one more time here and then across this sort of straight edge here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't, you know, stress yourself out here or anything. Okay, something like that. And then I'll just come up the, the right side here just a little bit, right to the point where the threading begins, right? And don't forget, we can hold down our space bar and reposition here if we like. So right to that, that point where the threading begins. Now, here's what I'd like you to do. Hold down Option on the Mac here, or Alt on the Windows side, and try clicking and dragging. And what happens with your cursor, and this is the bizarro part, is as soon as you start clicking and dragging, your cursor changes to the freehand lasso tool. Now, this might require a little bit of practice to really master. So in other words, what I'm holding down here right now, and my fingers are cramping up as I'm talking to you here, but I have the Option key held down, or Alt on the Windows side, and my mouse button held down too. And I just kind of jerked my mouse there a little bit, which is too bad. I kind of messed up my selection there. But anyway, so I'm holding down Option or Alt and my mouse, and off I go all the way up the right-hand side, all the way up the threading of the bolt here, all the way up to the, the bottom of the nut here. Okay. Now, once I get to the nut, obviously I'm back to straight angles, right? So check this out. I'm going to let go of the option key. I'm going to let go of my mouse. And now I'm back to the polygonal lasso tool. Did you catch that? Okay. Now, you know, if you didn't catch it, I'll have lots of opportunity to show you this a few more times because we have a long way to go here. So I'm back on the polygonal lasso tool. I'll come across the nut maybe to about here. And then again, just sort of continuing up the right hand side of the object something like this. I'll use my spacebar here to reposition something like this all the way back to the threading or the ribbing, right? All right, now we want to switch back now to the lasso tool, the freehand lasso tool, right? So what I'll do is I'll hold down option and then I'll click and hold with my mouse and drag. And now I'm back on that freehand lasso tool. This trick comes in really handy, not just when you're making rusty robot faces, but also in the real world when you're trying to select an object on your, you know, out of a photo or something like this. Okay, I'm all the way back to the top of the of the bolt here. I'm going to let go of Option or let go of Alt there if you're on the Windows side. Let go of my mouse. Thank goodness, because I was running out of mouse pad there. Now I can literally pick up and move my mouse here. Okay. Now, across the top of the object, just a few single clicks ought to do it for you. All the way over to the left-hand side now. All right, now, this shouldn't be too bad. There are some bumpy spots, but I might kind of fudge it here a little bit with you. I'm going to hold down Option, and then I'll click and drag. And, you know, maybe I should pick up the pace here a little bit, because I think by now you're probably getting the feel of it. All right, so again, Option or Alt, and click and drag all the way down back to the nut. I'll let go of both of my fingers, actually. Option or Alt off of the keyboard and my mouse. 
back to the polygonal lasso tool. Let's reposition things here just by holding down the space bar. And are you getting it? Is it is it making sense? Again, if you're having some trouble, don't feel bad because it took me forever to really master this. And now I use it all the time. It just takes a little bit of time to really get the hang of it. And if you've got it, hey, awesome stuff. Let's go and finish this guy off here. So again, option or alt and click and drag. Now there aren't too many lumps here on the left hand side going down towards the bottom here so we'll just kind of speed things up here a little bit let go of both of your fingers back onto the polygonal lasso tool down the left side all the way down something like this all right we are almost done here across the bottom now it's easy stuff right all right, back over the starting point. I don't know if you can see that in there or not, but the little donut is appearing beside my cursor. Single click to close the selection. Let's go and finish this guy off. I'm going to zoom out here, Command minus or Control minus, and I'll flip over to my Move tool, V on the keyboard, drag this guy over, and drop him right onto my face, something like this. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what I have here. It's up to you. If you want to use your free transform, Control T or Command T here on the Mac, go for it. Maybe you want to flip the nose around. Maybe you want to make it a little smaller. Maybe you want to make it a little crooked. I don't know, whatever you want. I think I'm going to leave mine the way it is, though. I will deselect Control D or Command D, and there you go. There's a neat way to combine selection tools.